Hello, this is Olivia. I'm the founder of the Academy of Botanical Art, sharing art tips with you today from our program, 10 Steps, A Course in Botanical Art and Illustration. Today's tip, field study and tools of the trade. So we often ask ourselves, what do we need when we go out into the field to start recording plants and nature's objects? I've laid out in front of me several things that you might want to think about. First of all, this is what we call a viewfinder. It's just a little cut mat that you can get at the art store. And this is really wonderful because it helps you for composition. You can hold your viewfinder up, out in nature, up against the subject, and it works beautifully to see what way you would like to capture your subject. We have other tools. This tool is called a protractor, and this is very useful for the scientific illustrator, the botanical artist, because it helps us measure the angle that a leaf or a branch will be coming off of its main source. Uh, this is a right angle and this is very helpful because the way you judge a curve is against a right angle. If I hold my right angle up against this curve I can see at what point it touches the straight edge and at what point it starts to veer away. This is enormously helpful when I'm holding it up against curves. You can see the, the gentle curve of that leaf, the midrib of the leaf. Whenever you have venation and you're trying to decide exactly how big the curve is, hold up a right angle, even your pencil, straight up against that and it will show you. We have wonderful little eraser tools. This one is called Tough Stuff and this one is produced in its package form like this called Mono Zero from Tombow and you can see each of them has small little edges for erasing that can be cut down even skinnier with a blade. We have here a kneaded eraser which is essential for whether in the studio or in the field. Here's a pencil extender that helps you when your pencils start to get too short. When you're in the field you want to have some kind of color pencil set uh, and you want to have a record of what these color pencils produce. Uh, this is sort of like the Pantone color chart that you've heard about. Uh, and Ferdinand Bauer, who was one of the most famous scientific illustrators, created a thousand of his little color swatches, and this is what he was able to put up against a subject and judge what the color would be and make those notations. Of course, you need to have a ruler. And in our last video, we showed about measuring with a perplexy. This is called a divider tool and this if you hold it straight up you cannot pierce the plane but if you hold it straight up this allows you to measure your subject also in perspective and it's wonderful and convenient. This entire little kit you can travel with this little kit. All of these tools come together in one place. Here is a little brush. Instead of using a very large brush that you'd have in your studio, you can travel with a small brush. This is a empty coffee sack, and we use it in the field because you can fill the bottom with rocks and the rest of it with water, and you can actually do some color painting uh, in the field, and then you roll it up, put it back in your backpack, and there you are on your way. Thank you for joining us. To learn more about the Academy, visit us online, academyofbotanicalart.com.